Hi guys, so I got a comment from Magnus that really kind of, uh, he, he's a new subscriber, and um, it really clarifies exactly why I do this. And uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, answer his comment in this type of a forum because it was really cool. Thanks, brother. Um, so anyway, here we go. Um, You, s <clears throat> you speak about being uh, jumped in a parking lot. Um, you know, I was brought up in a really rough town. And, you know, if there was an armpit of America, <laughs> it was it. I mean, there were, yeah, it, it had a lot going on. Um, even though it was a small town, it still had a lot of things going on. Let me just put it to you this way. I had multiple shootings just all around my apartment. Uh, in fact, one of them, my father-in-law literally got shot in the head three blocks away. So, that gives you a little bit of an understanding. Um, then you ask about... Um, my thoughts on the aspen pepper spray. Aspens are great, especially if you have uh, more than one of them. Uh, if you're going to carry an asp, I, I recommend you carry two. And if you're going to carry two asps, then I recommend that you study or at least uh, get some grasp of Kali and the Heaven Six movements uh, that Vampire teaches. He does a great job with that. So uh, yeah, definitely look up Vampire and definitely start learning uh, that with the asps um, because there's just so many advantages with an asp um, even over a knife uh, because with the asp you have reach and uh, length of weapon over a knife that's uh, that really that, that can really make a huge difference so yeah definitely asps are great um, pepper spray pepper spray is awesome because of the effectiveness but also the fact that you can use it on just about anything and it really uh, there's never any long-term effects um, so yeah uh, the only difficulties with pepper spray are the obvious. If it's a windy day, you don't want to get hit with a cloud. Um, also, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you always have a fully charged canister, and you're going to always want to make sure that it's a fresh canister so that it's not, uh, so that its potency is not um, lessened by it being old. But as long as you can hit that facial area and keep moving, it, it, it's a great thing. Um, granted, it does take some time to work. Uh, when you're talking about your entire into your um, encounter there, um, a lot of the time, that's the whole point of what... Uh, the people that would jump other people in in the uh, parking lots and stuff you won't see them you won't see them uh, they'll it'll, they'll try their best to stay in the shadows and to keep it quiet uh, especially in the dark and uh, yeah you, it's very difficult to see somebody like that um, and Honestly, what probably uh, chipped you off that he was coming at you was the fact that he was charging. If he was just simply walking up to you, he, he, you probably would, would not have uh, really sensed that he was there until he was really, really close. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so you're dealing with the one guy, and then all of a sudden the second guy comes up. Well, that's a very common hunter uh, tactic and when you went down then you went into a uh, fetal position trying to protect your bodily organs 
Um, that's usually that's actually pretty much textbook of of what I've seen. Um, and had you carry with any other way, you would have been dead with your own weapon. Yeah, probably. Uh, if they if that was their intent to kill you, yeah. Um, they uh, found nothing and was able to find, and you were able to pull your weapon to their shock. I'm glad you were able to do that. I'm I'm, I'm glad that you were able to uh, finally uh, have a way to uh, save your life. Um, and you know, hey, old school revolvers. Hey, man, <laughs> it's still got six shots. It still goes bang. So you know that that's that's the best thing that. I'm, I'm glad that you were able to save your life that way. Um, kudos on the uh, serving uh, as a law enforcement officer. I know some people uh, kind of dog on law enforcement, but the thing is, is that the ones that are always dogging them, they're not on the street. I mean, they they haven't been on the street, and they they don't understand what you guys go through. I've seen what you guys go through, um, and that's why I always respect, highly respect, uh, the peace officers. Um, the only, me being a peace officer's worst nightmare? No, not really. Uh, the reason why I'm not a no, I'm not their worst nightmare, is because I respect law enforcement deeply. Uh, basically, uh, if my life and growing up on the street in the town that I was um, wasn't enough I also um, was animal control for that area too and there's and you know there were things that I saw from living in the situation that I was but then you add going into uh, an animal control situation where you're working with the police officers and then you see a whole nother side, and trust me, there is a <laughs> wow. I mean, there is a there is things that you guys see and law enforcement officers see. I mean, it's unreal, and no one understands that and understands the the breadth and the the depth of what happens on a daily basis with you guys they don't understand it unless they've been there and if they have been there then <laughs> you never see them on the media uh, uh, dog and a police officer because they're like you know what yeah um, yeah we understand so I think a lot of the dogging of a police officer comes from the media and that's just the way it is and that's basically because they're trying to sell news newspapers um, You didn't see any of the things that I did except for the pocket of draw of the 45. Uh, yeah, actually, that's the whole point. <laughs> uh, not not to try to sign with conceit or anything like that, but uh, but that's the whole point. Um, I want to the the whole point of self defense to me is to be able to bring more to the table quicker than what the other guy can even imagine as possible, and that's how I win. And, and that's why I went. Uh, the reason why I teach the way I do is so that others can see what is out there so that then they can actually uh, take an understanding of what true self-defense is all about and not and not the stuff that's shown in a McDojo um, because I've tried things that were shown in the McDojo and I was taught from the McDojos and um, let me tell you, they didn't work. Um, the principles work, but not not the way that they did, not not the way that they showed. So I pretty much took everything and heavily modified. And here we go. Um, so anyway, so in an attempt to keep this kind of short, I want to say thank you for uh, uh, the comment and uh, thank you for your service, brother. I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.